Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to perform a water harm analysis in Excel. Here you will learn how to calculate a water harm using Excel, okay? First of all, you should have length, okay? Pipeline data, which is length, okay? Length it means that the length from the reservoir up to the storage tank like this one here okay along this pi this pipe okay from this reservoir pump up to the storage tank here okay then we should have this total static head which is this one here again we are need to have flow or discharge this one here i have 100 meter cubic of water per hour but then i convert it to meters per second it is found to be 28 like this one here okay then inside diameter in a millimeter which is equal to 180.6 like this one then velocity when i compute the velocity it is found to be 1.08 meter per second okay now the continuous pressure drop along the pipe okay using the hazen william well c for has an iridium which is 135. I picked this one, okay? Then hydros in a meter per kilometer, that one. Then hydros in a meter per column of water, which is going to be 4.29. Then for condition one, okay? Maximum working pressure is equal to static head plus frictional head here, which is equal to E5 plus E13. E5 means total static head plus E13, which is head loss. When you sum these two, you will get this one, okay? This is the pressure along this raising main, okay? Without e, considering the water hammer. So, without e, considering water hammer, the pipe, okay, to be used here, it will be a PN12, okay? PN12, it can sustain this pressure, okay? Now, when you come to water hammer, okay? Water hammer, you should have velocity, okay? Like the above one here, this one. Then, we should have a thickness E in millimeter, which is this one, 20.5. Again, long term modulus of elasticity okay which is this one then k value then wave celerity or wave speed i hope you all, you know this how to compute the wave celerity okay or wave speed using this equation i hope you know this okay that is good now slope this one c according to metrics it is one then closing time then critical time then a critical length, this one. Now, pumping type, okay? What is pumping type? Pumping type here, check here. If E4 is greater than E29, this is called long, okay? E4, which means this one length here, of this pipe, along this pipe. If it is greater than E29, which is the critical length, this one here, this term is long, okay? And the closing type which is the first if e theta is long if this is wrong then closing type will be first and the formula used it is arrive this one okay now when i compute water hammer using the equation it is going to be 34.01 okay now the total start total head okay for condition two Total head is equal to static head plus frictional head plus water hammer. Okay? It means here, when you sum three items, E5, E5, which is total static head, this one, plus E13, which is head rows, E13 head rows, this one, again, plus E33, which is equal to water hammer. When you sum these terms, these heads, you will get this value, okay? It means that the 
pressure along this pipe when water, water harm happens it could be this one okay so from this analysis okay we can conclude that for pipe to sustain the water harm along this raising main the pipe should be pn take pn16 according to this analysis okay now we can conclude that it is required to ray a 200 millimeter of hdb p pn16 okay from this data here after analysis okay i hope you understand this water harm analysis computation how do we compute water harm using the excel okay now i hope you understood this okay is it okay 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 thank you thank you thank you and this is the equation for computing the water hammer okay so friend i welcome you to this course which i offer okay i'm offering this course of hydraulic transit analysis and the modeling using software okay on this course you will know what is water hammer what are the causes and the consequences of water hammer also you will know the protection devices for water hammer okay then we will apply software we will use software to conduct hydraulic transient analysis and the modeling okay to see the envelope of the water hammer or maximum pressure and minimum pressure also you can see it through the software application okay here we use the the excel sheet okay so i welcome you if you want to upgrade your skills on hydraulic analysis i welcome to take you this course so friends it will be my pleasure to meet and uh, interact with you through this course so i wish you a happy learning and uh, stay safe and bye